What if your Galaxy phone could finally deliver console-level gaming control without extra apps? Lag or hacks, what if one Wii 9? Zero quietly fixed one of Android gaming's most annoying problems that nobody talks about enough? And what if the biggest upgrade in Samsung's next software update isn't about design, but about how you play today? We're breaking down a One UI 9.0 feature that could completely change mobile gaming on Galaxy devices. Before watching, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get notified about daily tech updates. Samsung's One UI 9.0, built on top of Android 17, is shaping up to be far more than a routine visual refresh. While most users expect smoother animations, smarter AI features, and refined customization, there's one deeply important upgrade flying under the radar especially for gamers for years. Mobile gaming on Android has struggled with one core. Problem, controller support that feels half-finished. Yes, Android supports controllers, but real flexibility has always been missing. One UI 9.0 would finally be the update that fixes this at the system level. Not through unstable third-party apps, but through native software intelligence baked directly into Android 17 and refined by Samsung for Galaxy users. If you've ever tried using a controller that isn't from a major brand, you already know the frustration. Buttons don't map correctly, some games refuse to recognize inputs, and customization is painfully limited. Many users turn to third-party remapping apps that rely on accessibility permissions, creating lag, glitches, and sometimes even breaking after software updates. This has been one of Android gaming's weakest points, especially compared to consoles, and even some competing platforms with One UI 9.0. Samsung users may finally see an end to this chaos. Android 17 introduces signs of a system-level controller remapping framework. And One UI 9.0 is expected to fully expose and polish this feature for Galaxy devices. Instead of relying on workarounds, the operating system itself will handle controller. Input translation. This means physical controllers, whether premium or budget, can be mapped exactly how you want, without performance loss. Even more impressive is the idea of a virtual gamepad layer. This software-based system can translate physical button presses into touch-based inputs, allowing controllers to work even in games that were never designed for them, for mobile gamers. This could be revolutionary, imagine playing touch-only. Games with a controller that feels native, responsive, and reliable, no overlays crashing mid-game, no random input delays, just smooth gameplay. The virtual gamepad system essentially tricks the game into thinking it's receiving standard input. While One UI 9.0 handles the translation behind the scenes, because this happens at the system level, performance and stability should be far superior to anything available today. This is the kind of feature mobile gamers have been requesting for years, and it looks like Samsung is finally ready to deliver. One UI 9.0 is also expected to introduce a dedicated controller. Settings section within system settings, this means users could see connected controllers in real time, customize button layouts, save multiple profiles, and switch between configurations depending on the game. For people who play shooters, racing games, or emulators, this level of control changes everything. Instead of adjusting your playstyle to fit poor mappings, your device adapts to you. That's the real promise of One UI 9.0 Beyond Gaming 1. UI 9.0 is expected to continue Samsung's push towards smarter performance management. With Android 17's deeper system optimizations, Galaxy phones could see better frame stability, improved background resource handling, and lower thermal throttling. During long gaming sessions, combined with refined game booster tools, one UI 9.0 may deliver not just better control, but longer, smoother gameplay without overheating or sudden frame drops. Security and privacy will also remain a major focus. Android 17 is expected to enhance permission handling, and One UI 9.0 will likely add clearer controls over how apps access connected devices, like controllers. This ensures that system-level remapping doesn't compromise user security. 
While still offering advanced customization, Samsung's approach has always been about giving power users more control without overwhelming casual users and One UI. 9.0 appears to continue that philosophy. Of course, One UI 9.0 is still months away from release, and features can change before final rollout. However, early indicators suggest Samsung is aligning closely with Android 17's most meaningful upgrades instead of just focusing on surface-level changes. If native controller remapping and virtual gamepad support make it into the final version, One UI 9.0 become one of the most important updates Galaxy gamers have ever received. Not flashy, not viral, but deeply impactful for Galaxy users. Who care about mobile gaming? One UI 9.0 isn't just another update, it's a turning point. It represents Android finally growing up in areas where it has lagged behind for years. And if Samsung executes this correctly, One UI 9.0 could quietly set a new standard for mobile gaming on Android devices. Now I want to hear from you, do. You think One UI 9.0 can finally fix Android's controller problems? Or are you keeping your expectations low? Drop your thoughts in the comments. This is Tech Insights and we'll see you in the next one.